Okay guys, I recently found out that my sister is having her second baby and um, I decided that um, for a baby shower it would be cool if we all use similar, uh, we had uh, similar nails, you know, baby nails. Um, so, I'm going to name this my baby shower nails. I started off with the pink, yeah, I smudged it a little there. <laughs> um, the pink that I use is by Nobby. And then I went ahead and I got some orange, some yellow, some brown, and a whole bunch of white. And I made this time color. Basically, I kept mixing I um, like half a dot of each yellow, brown, and orange. Um, mixed it all together and then I kept adding white until I found um, the color that I wanted. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by doing a little baby face, which is going to be a little circle. I find the bigger, the little face, I think the bigger, uh, the face, uh, the better, I'm sorry, the better it'll be because that way you don't have to work in a small area. Just doing a little circle. There we go. And so while that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and start doing a little blanket. And I want the blanket to be... What color do I want the blanket to be? I don't know. I'm going to go with blue because we don't know the sex of the baby yet, but I'll just do a boy. So I'm going to draw pretty much a little square, and since it's a blanket, it doesn't have to be completely straight. I don't know how I smudge it. I always end up either being covered in paint or smudging stuff. <sighs> covering the baby blanket. There we go. It's good enough. Okay. Then I want to do a little, it's a boy, so it's just going to have a little swirl. It's going to be this type of swirl. You know what I mean? It looks kind of like a six type of swirl. If I could do it. If I had a toothpick, it would be better, but I don't. So I'm going to start off with some yellow. I'm just going to get a little dot of yellow. Just place the dot right there. That's good. And then I'm going to grab my brown. Get a little dot of brown. I'm going to try to do a little swirl. That's good enough. Anyways, you get the gist of it. If you have a toothpick, sharpen the toothpick, it'll work better for you. Okay, next, the little, I want to go ahead and do my little, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes. So I'm going to get a white, two white dots for the eyes for now. So, there's one dot. There's the other dot. Okay. Then I want to grab my black. And I'm going to go ahead and work on the...
Okay, I want to go get a toothpick. Sorry about that. I'm gonna work on the the nose and the mouth. So with a little toothpick, I'm gonna just draw a little tiny nose. Go and then a little tiny mouth. And I do have a very shaky hand, so there we go. With the same toothpick, I'm gonna grab my blue and I'm gonna draw dot in the little eyes so there we go little eyes I hope everybody can I hope I'm in frame and you can actually see the little tiny eyes oops There we go. Little tiny baby eyes. And then you can even grab a little tiny bit of black if you want. Not that much. Go back and fix that with some tan. There we go. That's fine. So then I want to work on my blanket. Um, I'm gonna do the same blue. I'm just gonna add a dot of white to that blue to make it lighter. And mix that around. So give me a second while I go ahead and do that. So yeah, pretty much I'm gonna try to make different types of baby nails. Um try to see what I can come up with, then I'll choose which one I want. Or we can all have different ones of course, but I'm sure I'm gonna come up with a lot of them and then I'll just choose which one I like the best. So then with my baby blue, I'm going to go ahead and make the trim, make the trim the, what is it called? Making sure I'm touching the baby face a little bit with the blanket, that way he's completely covered up. There we go. Then, with that same blue, I'm going to just add random dots everywhere. And then I'm going to grab my dark blue and just give it like you half a, whoops, dropped my paint, just give it a half of a, half a dot of my dark blue just mix it in there it's gonna make this purpley color or dark blue there you go there we go and then since my baby face is almost dry, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my pink. So I have hot pink and it's too pink, so I'm going to add white. Oh, I think I already have one made here. Let me see. Yeah, I have a pink made here. So I'm just going to add a little cheeky pink. Pink cheeky, there we go. <laughs> That's cute. And that's pretty much it. 
Then I have some um, bear and duck, little ducky uh, female, but I can't find my ducky so I just got my bears. I'm just going to put those in the blanket so it could be a little 3D-ish. And I should have gone more, but I didn't think I was going to have the space for it. There we go. That is my little baby blanket. Baby in his blanket. The other one I created originally was this one, which I think I can't decide which one I like better. And then I also created this one. So different colors. Um, I think they all came out pretty cool. The only thing left to do on this one is, of course, add the top coat. So let's go ahead and see if. Whoops, had a little bit of blue in there. dry enough all right that's fine good thing it was a sample I never really do that that's fine um but yeah I think it came out pretty cool guys I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching